No, he belts. Yeah, there is a lot of players here like you were Bad alluding to. And I mean, each Girl of the players play. are going to have someone contesting them somewhere. So it's going to only be closer and closer. Got, now, got, luckily for Nate Hill, this player does not have a weapon to actually defend himself. Over there Michael is up, bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get him out of here. Hey, oh, we're seeing the people I out there on. trying to contend, but I always say in these kind of pub stomp formats, monsters, there's always a lobby hero that's out to try to kind of slow down. And hey, you know, no, I mean these people always be chilling, playing, Wait. and all of a sudden they, they're competing <laughs> and against some NFL pros. Yeah, that's kind of wild to me, you know. Like a, like a, like yeah, you, definitely. Look at this. Nate just oh, cleaning up shop. Yet. All these players here with no weapons. Perfect for Nate. Uh -oh, Remember, they I'm don't there. get the Scythe in there just in public Fortnite no, matches. So boy. it's going to be close. Oh, it's going to be tough exactly if someone rolls up on you before you get your shields Another off. This is this here. is actually really well for uh, Kyle Van Noy. That enemy did not want to finish him because he's out in the open. He got to get behind this little garden bush here. Hey, I gotta say, you know, I, I never feel comfortable in an early engagement until I have a shotgun, no, until I have 200 I HP, oh, maybe an really epic variety. Good. You know, I, I need it all. Maybe some splashes. Man. Monster is it, 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 like my, my Rolodex, mm -hmm. my list yeah, of items to feel comfortable in an early engagement. Yeah, I need a lot more than just a shotgun, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, and, and yeah. Nate Hill's gonna need a lot more than that as well because his teammate crawling. is also out of the lobby. Tifu already being thirsted He's and gone. Kyle's really still knocked it's though. The enemies buildings. that did take him out did not see where he crawled off to, so he will be able to get this pickup hopefully here just a couple more moments. Uh, but it's looking close. Nate doesn't have a no, shotgun. Enemies so are in the vicinity without a doubt, and now they have to play for mm -hmm. Tifu's reboot card, so the pressure's on. The pressure is on indeed, and hey, Clicks this trio, it needs this opportunity. They need to hopefully look at on the other side. Oh, oh no! Uh, pitcher and pitcher, and already Calvin Ridley's right going down. So it's gonna be up to Clicks and Ronaldo to get the job done. But I think another of a teammate did go down, so it may go up to Clicks. We'll see. But hey, Ronaldo cooking right there. Look at the very top there. Four E limbs. Let's go ahead and jump on board and see what's going down. It is Clicks and Ronaldo here trying to stay alive. And Ronaldo's beaming. He's on a terror right now. Six E limbs, seven E limbs. Holy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's what we expected of him. This is exactly what I was expecting of Ron and Clicks, uh, Clicks' team early on. That's what I was calling out to. Like, hey, this is the team to really look out for. And now you're seeing it all start to come together all of a sudden. Closing that gap that they might have been left behind on before. And look, boom, tracking right through the ramp there, too. You can tell these guys, these guys know what they're doing. The enemies that are at least pushing in, right? They're trying to play some smart Fortnite. Someone's going to take the wall up above from Ron. Ron's faster and smarter than that, though. Where's Clicks is the real question. We know he's nearby, but no backup yet. Yeah, at the same time, we get a little guest appearance from Unknown right there in the sub notifications of Ronaldo representing the NRG, of course. And Ronaldo, this is one of those opportunities, as we mentioned, this would be a great way to kind of get his name out there in the Streamer Bowl. I mean, the Streamer Bowl is a great place to see so many, like, articles are written about it, you know, montages are made about it, and so many eyes are watching the Streamer Bowl last year. I I cannot wait to see what happens in Stream Ball 2. And I cannot wait to see, you know, Ronaldo out there put his skills on display and his personality. Yeah, I was going to say, you think a lot of people watched last year. Now with all the restrictions, people being home, even more reason to watch this year. So I don't doubt that there are going to be a fair amount of humans that show up for that. Take a look at this, though. They're split. Okay, I see the strategy. So Ron, Ron is actually in Pleasant right now, and Clix is inside Salty Towers. They split the drop. Clix is like, listen, we need a lot of points. We got to make up for lost time. They're playing for the win right now. I like this competitive spirit here for the show match. You got to do it, man. You got to make up that ground. You only tie about five points, so like about 45 on the other side of things. And look at this, going for the clay special, and he's just pepper five. He does catch someone, does a two-piece, a three-piece. Oh, oh, my oh, my God. Holy shit, Bob. Man, buff face style monster. Hey, you know what I like to say? The to-go play. He's taking them with them to go right there. Quick, quick follow-ups. Dude, he's put everybody on the hibachi, and he's going to be able to bring back Calvin Ridley. Of course, you have seen the outfit from the Atlanta Falcons repping. The whole point of it, right, Monster, is like at this point, you just up. play for the Victor Royale, you know? On the hill, the dino. This yeah, without a doubt. Close. Nate Hill now in a little sniper battle here. Oh, okay. So this player's got some heart. He's going to come in. He wants to fight Nate. <laughs> heart. <laughs> yeah, hey, he's got heart. That's, the, that's the, the least I can say for him. 
I'm not saying this is a good idea by any means. Cracked off. How much value is heart, monster? Because I, I have a sure a whole lot of heart when it comes to playing in competitive. You've seen my heart playing in your showcase. You know what I'm saying? When I'm going out there, all, all gung ho and getting blasted with my rotate, heart can only get you so far. Yeah, it get you right back to the lobby. That's for sure. Against the wrong player. Even even against Tifu, who is now a professional yeah, Minecrafter. So there you have it. Tifu, like you said, some things you just don't forget. Fortnite being a oh, skill, he cannot forget. Somebody in a he's, he's clean with it. This is going to be crazy, man. This is the, the ride that we're talking about. And right now, they're trying to make sure that they keep up the pressure. Because you already saw Ronaldo and Clicks are on a whole other level when it comes to their strategy. And right now, this trio is making this way going basically like a hip-to-hip -hip strategy. Making sure that they are all focused on the point of attack. And... I think what's gonna hurt them is that God, opportunity where they spend a lot of time in lazy late because you know you gotta if we get some reboots in you gotta bring back Tifu, how to bring up Calvinoy, but at least the action's coming to them. Yeah, and that's what I was gonna say. More importantly, they're taking their time. They're not trying to throw away their lead. They have such a monstrous lead, like the Victor Royale, like you mentioned, and just closing out the game like in a normal fashion, letting people come to you. We'll funnel them up at the top and keep them comfortable. Um, whereas Clicks and Ron, you know Calvin, you saw their strategy. They have to put everything on the table when they're already no, on the back my it's gonna be big and then we'll see what's going down with calvin Noy, but the action still is happening for nate hill and yes it's gonna be very very soon is that this match is gonna come to a close but at least they're gonna be able to keep up that pace and when it comes to elin races you just want to keep the pace as much as possible and it, not necessarily put it like do do make it over in just, just two rounds, out. but it'll make it very difficult for Ronaldo and Clicks Clutch, and Calvin Ridley to make a comeback. It's all good because we have 43 points. Without a yep. doubt. And I do wonder if Nate and T for down a man now. <laughs> this is going to be important <laughs> for what they're doing. Um, obviously, because we, we know that if Calvin Noy's not in the game, that's yeah, look, the he, he's out the lobby. So that's, that's the opportunity for yeah, where the two team. Elims for Calvin Noy would have otherwise been getting. It's I mean, now oh, yeah. no they longer available. Four. This is the perfect storm for clicks. Oh, a box right here. Oh, we gotta kill these boys. Now, of course, we're seeing on the yeah. bottom right that it is clicks. The other side, oh, you down. talk about perfect storms. Looks like clicks is in a storm in itself as the only remaining member of the trio that's on his feet with about oh 18 oh, enemies out. This is not looking good, but hey, if clicks could could clutch, it is right now. He could definitely do it. 100. percent and not only that, he's got one material, so this 0.5 being so, so important now to his success here. And there it is. He hits a monster shot. Now, he's not going to be able to pick up any of his teammates' reboot cards. It looks like that opportunity, that window of time is gone as Ron is also out. And remember, Ron split up, so he's probably has gotten taken out by a completely different team somewhere else on the other side of the map. Clicks has now got to put the entire team on his back, already on a point deficit. The difference maker yeah. now is going to come down to the victory. I'll come down. No doubt. I mean, you're looking at reaching top five gets you seven points. Reaching top ten gets you five. But just showing the victory is worth ten. That's a big one right then and there. And fortunately, Calvinoy just couldn't make it the rest of the way. Most likely having some technical issues, but no doubt that's not going to slow down Nate Hill and Tifu. They know they got a job to do. They know that they keep up the pace. I'm sure on their side of things, they know that Ronaldo, Clicks, and Calvin Ridley are, are popping off at the moment, but. We'll see. I mean, it's. It, I think it's. Uh, it's going to be a lot harder for clicks to kind of clutch out versus what's happening right here. As you see, someone just literally in a box and getting just beamed. All the barrel stuff. Nate Hill, you're a mean man. Yeah, we we call that putting them in the blender and pressing start right there. <laughs> they just got. They got mashed up real quick. These guys are all gone. And, and I mean, just look at it. Tifu, Nate Hill, powerhouse. I don't even think he got shot after popping that uh, initial heal. It's like this there. Already have what, 14 Elims. What oh, year shit. is it, right? It just yeah, feels like I'm getting the flashback to Nate Hill and Tifu competing together yeah, in these Elim races. Oh, I mean, <laughs> most most of the time they compete against each other, but know, these are man. some vibes uh, that we haven't seen in a long time. <laughs> and with a sniper <laughs> shot, you're from FaZe, brother. You got to represent. You got to hit the snipes. And Nate Hill, he's been hitting some nasty snipes. Check out his socials chat. Some nasty snipes here in the Fortnite world. People forget. People forget how, like... Fortnite on a normal <laughs> pub game, like there, there's still moments yeah, to have fun there's, like this. Like, look, Nahil's got the cards. biggest <laughs> smile cracked across his face. These guys are right, so it. lost. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? When you when you take a break away from the arena, you do get to see the other side of Fortnite. Absolutely, no doubt. The the fun in Fortnite is vibing, and the fun in the Whoa, streamer man. bowl too. 
is here. This is, again, playoff week three. We're catching up with all the action across the board, and we're still hanging on with Clicks, who is now has added four E limbs, and he still has a lot of the lobby to go, boss. We're okay. Clicks is doing it, brother. He's doing it. We actually love to see this. Clicks literally putting up the big clutch right now, but remember, it's about the victory royale, and I'm a, I'm a bit concerned that he hasn't Ooh. healed. Okay, he just wanted to wrap up that final Elam, and the reason I say that is because the zone's coming, right? And yes, he does have the make hits and whatnot, but that zone will do damage, and remember, you don't have a lot of time the later you get into these rounds. That next zone's gonna start taking for two if he was stuck behind, so with 56 HP, no siphons available, you really gotta be conscious of how much time you have behind, but... Look at the look at the loot here. He is vibing out. Legendary loadout now. Grenades, uh, movement. He, he's chilling here. The only thing that's now a big problem is the 200 brick. Yeah, he's not gonna have a lot of builds to navigate. And if someone pressures him and puts him in a box, he's just gonna be get a bit beamed down. So he's not to make quick work of everybody in the lobby. Nice 27 tags, and that's the pressure he wants to avoid. So that's why he's moving as much as possible. Could be a matter of moments before any kind of bullet sneaks in and kind of slows him down. He's gonna throw out some frags out there. Does he get any connections? No, he's not. Nothing. He's not gonna connect. Did miss the mini before there, so he's gonna have to pop one right here right now. And this might be super lucky for him to actually find some loot left over. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's something better than what he was in before. And now here comes the pressure from Clicks, the free beams. Yeah, you don't want to go toe to toe with Clicks, not when he's ready, not with a legendary AR at that. Let's see what this man had to offer him. What's the pickup? What's the bounty reward? Not much, but uh, just uh, just enough material to at least balance him back out. Yeah, just enough to get him through. He's gonna have to have. A very long ride. This is the scary part, as you mentioned. The storm on your backside going to the safe zone. There's eight enemies out. He sees someone in the yellow house. He's going to third party this. Does it connect? I mean, it is hard to connect with that that rifle right there. We did see Somerset connect with a 110. And oh my goodness, it doesn't matter. This guy's hit fire and jumping and getting some nice tags, monster. Well, see, he's going into the basement. Come on down. Okay, great shot right there. Yeah, that was quick. This player couldn't even react in time, and just like that, he wraps things up down low. Now it's time to bring it back up. Remember, there was an enemy that was just on top of this build battle here. Possibly, yes, I was going to say, possibly another squad coming in. That's kind of what it seemed like. That team is not on any structural support there. Not much, but Clicks is getting tagged up big time here. Now he's forced to run back. It's a 3v1 for Clicks here, who's in the basement. On the other perspective, you see the two-man army that is Tito and Nate Hill trying to finish up their lobby now. Ooh, dude, Clicks literally threw a gas canister out in front of him, gets the beams, blow up the gas canister, looking like John Wick in a movie, and gets a knock on your top of your screen. Clicks is trying to wheel his team back into the fight and get him in a Ooh. great position to overtake in round three. But he's going to have to overcome Tifu and Nate Hill as they're trying to close out the lobby as well. But wow, the action on the top of the screen is just phenomenal to watch. Yeah, Clicks is not playing games right now. He's actually putting on, a, putting on the work here, to say the least. And now he's caught inside the zone. This is that pressure that was... Worried about for clicks who's taking these storm line fights. There it is. Wraps up that team. That's another. What's that? Four, five Elon swing here. He's definitely in the 20 plus elimination range right now. He's bringing up his team to 32 Elims. This is almost triple of what Nate Hill and Tifu managed to pull off and maintain here. Tifu's actually down in his round here, spectating Nate. There's a small possibility Nate does not get the victory royale, which means that I think Eclipse will be able to uh, balance out. Yeah, the, the offset, right? The offsetting the game Oof. one. Look at this. Clicks is literally still finding more. <laughs> I mean, I know it's the days of the 20 Elims, 30 Elims. I mean, they're of your, but man, it, to watch it when it happens, it's so fun to see someone at their optimal best just slaying out the lobby. You're hearing Ronaldo giving him the gas. Ronaldo as well did a great job closing out Pleasant Park by himself. And yeah, now it's going to be a big time battle. Can Nate Hill and Clicks clutch and get the victory nice. out? That's 10 points on the board. Big knock from Clicks on the top left, but it is Nate Hill on the bottom right. Yes, victory royale concluded. That story gets 10 points, but the story is Clicks' epic run here. Can he get the victory royale? Let us see how he can do it, Monster. He's already got a knock. He's got this other player down. So, okay, that's two of the three down already. Clicks is going to be able to win this game if he can take out this last player here. Literally pulling off the miracle run here and finding so many of the Elims as well in the process. There it is. This should be a textbook close. Walks right in and walks right through him. And there it is. Clicks, you are a monster.
<laughs> this is your first time. Right. Maybe you're a big football fan of Calvin Oy or Calvin Ridley. You haven't watched Fortnite. These are some of the top of the elite that we have to offer here on Twitch for yeah, Fortnite. Right in the car dealership. Yeah, without a doubt. And actually, it seems like this draw spot is only contested by a Bubble team down. that just came in nice and late there. You can see that player yeah. looking like he didn't have much this until just now. The Gorilla Canadian is going to go down. Someone's behind the wall. This should be oh, quick wraps. And yes. Hurt. Yeah. And I mean, Ridley himself was, it was drafted by the Atlanta Falcons in the first round with a 26 overall pick back in 2018. And and he had like the crazy amount of receiving touchdowns as a rookie in his first couple of games. So he knows how to get a hot start. And you said so yourself. He figured out the measuring stick. All right, I know where I stand in this Fortnite competition, especially for the Super Bowl two, which is still completely it's it's completely different from a you know regular competitive tournament monster. We're talking about all different skill levels, all mix and match. And you're seeing a great skill with the box up like a fish tactic here from clicks, getting a clean piece control Elon right then and there. So you're gonna have that perspective, and you're gonna have NFL pros who are just gonna show up, you know, to play, right? And I think Calvin Ridley, now getting this experience, is going to realize, okay, I don't want to be one of these players that's going to show up to play. I want to show some skill. And I think this is a great experience for me. Yeah, no doubt. And then when you guys watch clicks, right, do it on the on the big stage or do it anywhere, especially when it comes out of box fights. You're talking about someone who's innovated and has, has pushed the ball forwards for the whole of Fortnite as a community. He, he does it better than, than most, if not all. And now we're looking at Ronaldo, who is grossly underrated as a player as well and what he can do out here on the Fortnite field. But he's down. So is his teammate. Calvin is also down. Versus Clicks versus Nate Hill and Tifu. That in itself is going to be an exciting price of the mission. And that's where I'm going to see who's going to be able to walk away with the lion's share of $40,000. But Clicks says, I'm not done yet. I'm here to beam. I'm here to survive. I'm here to the last ride. Oh, great knock here, and he's still racing for Ron's card. He's going to put that red behind him. He will have enough time to pick this up. I believe there's like a yes. split second afterwards. Oh, my gosh. On the buzzer here. Okay. No material, though. No shield. Barely anything to work with. Once again, pressure's on more than ever. Nate Hill's trio leaving Butter Barn, and I don't know where Calvinoy is. But so, there it is. Calvinoy flanking on the boat, too. we got a boat attack. Yeah, and nice. look, look, they're just, they're just stomping them nice. out. You oh, know, no you, it, it doesn't matter if you're losing. Yeah, yeah. You still, you still uh, fight, right? You, you gotta yes. fight your, on your way out. That's uh, what, that's what no, really no, matters. No, 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 trust, trust. <laughs> trust, trust, trust. You got this guy, dude. Trust me. You got time. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. Take a time on it. <laughs> You're coming for me, bro. We are just listening to the comments. Yeah, I was just listening to the comments. <laughs> having a good time. I was just enjoying the vibes, and there's just sometimes, and the vibes are just there. And I, I think as well, I mean, Chaps, I remember we had an interview with Chap in the previous, in the first Super Bowl two playoff week one. We asked Chap about his victory that he got with Calvinoy. He said it's an experience he'll never forget. Oh, no. Looks like we could forget about the chances of clicks in the trio to make that epic comeback. We already knew that was a tall order, but get the back to it where Chap said it was one of those experiences that he'll never forget winning a Fortnite game with Cal Vinoy. And at the oh, same yeah. time, if you're out there and you have a high draft pick, I think you Word definitely have to in. consider we Kyle Vinoy. He I think. did well. He knows how to uh, look. A lot of mm -hmm. other football players so, that we have here know how to listen to yeah. instructions. If you give them the playbook, they will follow it to the T. And Kyle Vinoy proved that when him street, and Chap got a victory out. What are one of the, the, one of the best the minds the of the Fortnite world yeah. in Chap as a, probably like. I would say like equivalent as coach Bill Belichick and you know, when you come to chap So, you know, Calvin Noy is gonna be a great solid addition to your trio going into the Super Bowl too Yeah, without a doubt I hope he's Without a doubt, that's gonna be a top pick to look out for We'll see who does their homework, right? Because that's the other side of this whole thing <laughs> Nail so this is not good <laughs> TV ain't got no HP either <laughs> He's not good at all. Dude. Oh, hey, every time you're a member of FaZe, you gotta go for a trick shot And you're seeing He's the no really scopes happy. coming out here Nate Hill is uh, always I, looking for the content, no matter what. The bouncer into this no, hey, but sometimes, Monster, bells. you're on the wrong side of that oh, content. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I love how this skin has the big paddles on the feet, too. Like, <laughs> yeah, <it's> so silly. <laughs> it's one of my oh, favorite. The toy soldiers reminds me of the old school Toy Story, you know? It's... Right. Can heart overcome <laughs> skill, Monster? Ooh. Oh, oh no, Nate Hill gets cracked no, again. Man. Okay, I think, it, I think he's going to wrap this one up now. I can mm, they got the same life lead right now, dude. Same whites. Get 11. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he had 11 HP. <laughs> GG. Woo! To watch, but ultimately it will be Calvinoy, Nate Hill, and Tfue.
overall. Which team got the most points? 142. I mean, that's wow. 50. He put up their biggest game at the end of the day. What a statement. 53 points from that team. Only 10 on the other side.